yesterday on Meet the Press, former ABC anchorman Tom Brokaw, let's say, stepped into it when he was. they were talking about the real reason behind Donald Trump's wall. Well, just go ahead and press play. And a lot of this we don't want to talk about, but the fact is, on the Republican side, a lot of people see the rise of an extraordinary important new constituency in American politics, Hispanics, who will come here and all be Democrats. Also, I hear when I push people a little hard, I don't know whether I want brown grandbabies. I mean, that's also a part of it. It's the intermarriage that is going on and the cultures that are conflicting with each other. I also happen to believe that the Hispanics should work harder at assimilation. That's one of the things I've been saying for a long time time you know that they ought not to be just codified in their communities but make sure that all their kids are learning to speak English and that they feel comfortable in the communities and that's going to take outreach on both sides frankly that's too bad Okay, Brokaw tried to clean that thing up with a series of tweets, y'all. This is what he tweeted. I feel terrible. A part of my comments on Hispanics offended some members of that proud culture. Finally, I am sorry. I never intended to disparage any segment of our rich, diverse society, which defines who we are. Then he also said, finally, I'm sorry. I failed to convey my strong belief that diversity, dynamic and inclusive, is what makes America. Uh, Joe Scarborough, he tweeted that, uh, you know, Tom Brokaw's covered the civil rights movement his whole career, and so he's apologized. Essentially give the guy a break so let, let's let's <laughs> unpack this okay here's what Tom Brokaw didn't say now maybe Tom if you have watched this show or watched my previous show you would have the proper language but see the reality is and look Tom Brokaw's a nice guy he's a nice guy okay great journalist but the blind spot of white journalists and white media executives mm -hmm. is they don't want to criticize white people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? They don't want to challenge white people. Okay? The real deal here is I keep saying it. It's the name of the book I'm working on. I can't wait till we go ahead and get this book published. Is this is white fear. What he said was white fear. They are afraid of black and brown people. Oh my God, I don't want any of these brown babies. Mm -hmm. What that means is I don't want my white kid dating and marrying somebody Latino. I don't want them dating or marrying somebody black. Look, you can sit here and say, I ain't dating nobody white or Latino or whatever, but guess what? The numbers have exploded yep. since the 1960s in terms of interracial marriages, okay? White people, it ain't enough of y'all. <laughs> y'all stop having babies. Your birth rate is lower than anybody else's. Your death rate is going to surpass the annual birth rate uh, in about 10 states in the next two to three years. You can't blame black people for that one. You can't blame Latinos for that one. That's on y'all, because y'all stop knocking the boots. So don't look at us. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, but, that's the case. Okay, but he, I frankly believe that he said exactly what you were saying in the first half of his comments, which was problematic. And I feel like that's when all of the white folks clutched their pearls because he told the family secret. Right. When he said they don't want any uh, Latino grandbabies and right. that's what they're afraid but, of. But he and he was being there. he was no. being very honest about that. And I think he even knew that's a problem. They're saying they don't want that. And then the second part, it wasn't just really that it was racist, if you want to say it was racist. It was just wrong, right? In that they do and are they assimilating are right? more and more. Many I mean, of them literally don't even have know what it is. You literally Spanish have English, Eng English. English yeah. language uh, television networks targeting Latinos. Well, it's like, dude, what the hell are you talking I mean, about? We, I mean, we have a Ted Cruz who literally forgets that he's Hispanic most days of the week. Right. I mean, that's how that's how <laughs> simulated they no, are. Jim, 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 Jim Acosta said, "Oh, he said Jim Acosta said." I'm of Cuban heritage, That's, and I don't even speak Spanish. Is that assimilation good enough for you? I mean, the thing is, the thing is, you know, Brokaw, it should, it should, it should have broke us, you know, full statement that of this. Good. He couldn't just leave it there with telling the honest truth about no. how America really feels it's about It's like, oh, I got something to say about y'all, too. So I thought, Colonel Logue yeah. failed him for the next No, it was, it was like, no, it was like, okay, I checked white people. Okay, let me tell you, okay, I, I need to check Latino. Feel good again. No, exactly. What I really think he was doing was he was trying to, to, 
shift the blame from mm -hmm. white people for that belief yes. and, and blame Latinos yes. for it by saying there's something wrong with you. That's why they don't want the brown. And he said, you know, we can't codify, uh, I think that's what he used. He said, by, you know, in terms of be, be, you know, being in your own environment, but <laughs> that, that's y'all fault. Yeah. Because, yeah. Tom, if, if white folks didn't have housing segregation in America, uh, you wouldn't have that problem. And let's be real honest, the only reason black people um, are not like Latinos and Asians, because y'all, white folks made us stop using our African native tongue. I mean, let's just, let's just be real here. And so America's history is Italians moving into neighborhoods around other Italians and speaking Italian, but also speaking English. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with other cultures. If you want to talk about Dominicans or Puerto Ricans or whatever, I mean, that that's a part of it. But what he was also getting at, Michael, is really what the, was the fundamental issue here. White folks saying, look, because this is what assimilation, see y'all, this is what assimilation really means. We really need y'all to act more white. Yeah, but, but you know, no, no, no. That's the, you know what's no, crazy. We got, we got, we got to put, we got to put that on the table. Because see, the problem is they keep saying, "What? Well, no, 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 no." We, I see. No, no. What he meant was our culture, cultures. Of, no, no, no. Because like Brit Hume took yeah. offense, and I tweeted. I said, "Brit, why don't you go ask the black people in Fox News how black people have had to assimilate? Yep. Assimilation for us is I need you to change your hair. Mm -hmm. I need you to change your tone. I need you to change how you dress." Because we have been conditioned since August of 1619 to make white people comfortable. We have had to strip ourselves of our essence in order to make them more comfortable. That's why you couldn't be a black woman for all of these years. And despite changes, you were still can't. You couldn't be a black woman and walk up in a, a Fortune 500 company yeah. with Avis's hair. You couldn't. They'd be like... No, her ass ain't getting promoted. Uh, no, no, that's just been, look. It's the truth. Black Enterprise, Earl Graves was on record. You could not have locks yeah. if you wanted to intern at Black Enterprise because Earl Graves said, you want a job in corporate America? They not going to take locks, so I'm getting you ready now. Go to, since y'all want to go, go to HBCU business schools. Yeah. Yep. That's so ridiculous. Go to HB. No, no, but no, it's not ridiculous. It is. It's the reality of these institutions saying. Assimilate. Do you want boom. to get the yeah. job or not? Boom. Do you want to move forward yeah. or not? Because this is what we're dealing right. with. Right. And so when he says assimilation, see, they all have, an, all, they, all, they keep having this speaking Spanish conversation. I'm like, no, 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 no. That thing is way deeper than that. It is stripping people of color of who we are to say, we need y'all to act more white. And we all know what acting white means yep. and what their rules are to be accepted to move forward. But the thing is this, what you... Oh, oh. No, go, uh, Michael. You know, it's interesting whether it was wrong, <coughs> racist, or both. What I heard him saying is this, trying to be slick about it, this is what they're thinking. Let me tell you what they're thinking. Right. Well, even though it... Could be what he was thinking too, right. but I just found it. I just I thought he was trying to be he slick said, about it. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, right. And then when he got the pushback, he said, "Oh man, I better clean this up." Right. And obviously, it's too late because that's where, when you said clutching the pearls, mm -hmm. that's what people are actually thinking. Well, and, and he's having the wrong assimilation <laughs> con yeah. conversation. Yeah. Huh? He's having the wrong assimilation conversation. The conversation you need to be having is with middle America. He needs to be having with folk that, you know, Libya, the thing is, we don't use the mainstream media phrase. You well, said the conversation with middle America. Well, he needs Who to have a conversation with white folk. Thank you. That live. No, 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 no. But no, hold up. Midwest. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. No, 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 no. But, no, no, but, but, again, me stopping you is proving my point. Yeah. Right. We have been assimilated to the point right. yeah. that we can't even say white people. people. Right. That's when we have been assimilated to go, no, 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 the Midwest, yes. right. middle America. Right. 
crazy. What the? They are black people <laughs> and middle who America. literally live in middle America. Right. But we ain't talking about them. But the conversation yeah. he needs to be having is with white people about assimilating to 2019 and what American culture, American society looks like in 2019. But you can't have that conversation when the executive suite at NBC yeah. looks like middle white America. See, that. that. See all, all this, all, I'm telling you, all this back and forth is simply... Can y'all please make us comfortable? That's the real deal. What he did not say is, white folks, <laughs> I need y'all to assimilate to everybody else. <laughs> I need you to get out of your comfort zone. I go back to Rod Dreher writing an article in the New York Post saying, what? Aaliyah? Who the hell is Aaliyah? Why does she get a horse-drawn carriage funeral <laughs> in New York? It's not like she was Madonna. Who is she? Oh, we lit his ass up when he wrote that piece, and then they'd apologize. But again, that's white America. Yeah. White America, the whole deal is we don't know you. We we don't we ain't never heard of you. Oh, unless you Oprah, Michael Jordan, Tiger, or Beyonce. It's like you have to, you get to a certain level. White America say, okay, now we know who you are. Now we can accept you. That's that's real. Mm -hmm. The assimilation in America is really assimilating into white culture. When we keep hearing our, our values are changing, no, your white values are changing. That's what's changing. Well, the, I, I, you're exactly right, because we still live in a society <coughs> that un unfortunately undergirding it is the myth of white supremacy. And so white supremacy will be protected at all costs. The, the, the issue though is that the reality is that our demographics as a nation is changing. White numeric majority is coming to an end. And let me just tell you, I've already told my children, keep they me can't on child it. support, keep, not child support, on life support, Lord have mercy, keep uh -huh. me on life support <laughs> until that last black or brown baby is born to tip the scales. Because it will happen in the not too distant future. And so it is this sort of, um, panic that has led to the rise of a Trump. Yeah. It's this sort of panic that leads to those conversations that he was giving us an insight on. Mm -hmm. They know that their days as a numeric majority is dwindling. And if they can no longer be the numeric majority, they still want to be the cultural normalcy. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're trying to protect. Well, I I'm telling you right now, th they can sit here uh, and run their miles all day. The problem they're going to have is uh, it ain't we ain't going back. No. We're, we're, we're not going back. It's not going to happen. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. As I told you, of course, a lot of us are focused on getting healthy in 2019. And uh, one of the ways we can do that uh, is by doing the cleanse. So the last 20 days, I've been doing the D Herbs cleanse. Lord have mercy. Uh, all raw vegetables, fruits, and nuts. Uh, and so has not been, ha hasn't been too bad. I've done it before. Uh, and so I uh, ended up losing about 18 pounds total doing it. Uh, and for a lot of us, again, we're getting, we're just for your core, you want to just be healthier, you want to have more energy. And so the folks at D Herbs, uh, they're partnering with us. And so what you can do is go to dherbs.com. You can actually use the promo code Roland if you want to actually want to do the cleanse. They have 27 different cleanses, and you can do some 10 days, some 20 days, some shorter, some longer. Uh, and so also, they have it for weight loss, all kind of different cleanses uh, that can help you out. And so we want you, again, use the promo code ROLAND by going to dherbs.com. Back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.